Hello Zebraherd and welcome back to Plant vs Zombies and today we are to be completing the main adventure mode. We are in world five and we have world five six to get started with and we're gonna go straight to the end. We're on the roof, things have gotten more intense than ever. As you can see, there is a new zombie. I don't know how he got this thing up here but he is a catapult zombie and he launches basketballs at you. Seriously, how did he get on the roof? Maybe he took like a sweet jump. I don't know. <laughs> we gotta deal with that. I haven't played in a couple days, life has been busy, so I might be a little bit off for now. As you can see, we did get the garlic, which can be helpful, I've never been a big fan. I mean, I guess it's not a bad plant, but there's not a lot of opportunities I really see where I'm like, ah, I wanna use that. So, we'll have to be careful. When it comes to everything else, I think that we wanna focus a little bit, well, we gotta focus on cabbages, don't forget that. Now, this guy is a tough guy to deal with. I'm sure you've noticed, but he has a catapult. Who do you think he's gonna launch that at besides your plants? It's not easy. Um, the best that I can see is definitely getting a cherry bomb to help get rid of it. And then, hmm. Maybe a tall nut and a torch, no, not a torch, what am I talking about? Uh, I mean, uh, it's so hard to say. I wish I had a 10th seed slot. We don't though, so we gotta work with what we got. Maybe snow pea would be useful. We could slow down some zombies that way as well. I don't know if it'll actually work out that way. Just uh, getting to the point where there is a catapult zombie is gonna be difficult enough. The game gets wickedly difficult from here on out, so we're gonna have to be extra ready for anything the game might throw at us. I do wanna try the garlic at least once, just to showcase it to you. This honestly might be a round where we lose because you know I really need every seed slot to go as well as possible, so just having the garlic there when I don't need it is a huge problem. Um, so that might be difficult at first. I also don't have a potato mine, so if I wanna get rid of this guy, I gotta do it the old fashioned way. Putting a plant in front of him and having that plant dismantle his zombie bones and ligaments. Okay, that's pretty good, got that sunflower. And we do have two huge waves to deal with, so hopefully it'll give me just enough time to get everything. But how usually this works is that, you know, you put it in front of a zombie, it'll eat that garlic and it'll wanna move away because it tastes bad but really it doesn't work well for my situation at all. Like it doesn't, you get it in the roof levels, but honestly, I don't see how it can be all that helpful in the roof levels most of the time. I mean, yeah, just, there are some specific strategies that I use it for, especially on the pool levels, that can be nice, but especially since they can eat the garlic on the pool and then move out of the pool, and that's pretty nice. But beyond that, it is just not easy to use in a situation like this. So I'm probably just gonna place it down once to show you guys what it does, how it's like. And if we lose after that, we lose. I probably won't use it. I would love to hear your thoughts on the uh, garlic plant, what you use it for, what strategies, because it's a good plant. Like it can be used in a lot of situations that are useful, just none that I can really utilize right now with only nine seed slots and a lot of difficult things heading our way. So right now I'm just gonna focus on sunflowers, Get the uh, final row of, or final cabbage pole in the row of them, which is pretty nice, and work on more plant pots. That's probably all the sunflowers I'm gonna use at the moment, and we got our first cone head. So I'm gonna get this extra sun, go like this. Got it, okay, so we should be able to slow him down something good. We're probably gonna wanna start investing in a couple of things. Tall nuts will be nice, but also I think getting the, uh, the, cr the corn out is pretty good as well but trying to make sure I have a spare amount of sun at all times so that when that catapult zombie shows up, uh, things can work my way because it's a tough zombie to deal with. That's not what I wanted, I wanted this. No matter how you put it, it's very tough to deal with. We can almost get this out whenever it's ready. Then I gotta start working on the tall nuts in just a moment. Okay, so we got our last kernel pole here. I'm probably gonna put, yeah, because I wanna be able to put somewhere the, uh, the frozen peas, so do that. That looks pretty good to me. <laughs> Cause we need to put the snow pea somewhere. We'll worry about that soon enough. I don't really have enough sun coming in at the moment to really make it work like crazy. But we're earning up more and more. I can put this here. But if I could have replaced this garlic with anything, I don't know, maybe it would have just been some pumpkins. Cause they're always helpful. They've definitely been useful. Okay, so I almost have enough for another tall nut, so I'm gonna start working on that. Can you not eat that, sir? Thank you. <laughs> you almost did. I was able to stop you. Put that there. This is gonna be tough. Oh, it's gonna be so tough. I'm not looking forward to it. Okay, so we got our first huge wave coming in. 
So at this point, if I could just get another plant pot, I gotta find out where it's gonna be coming in from, uh, this catapult. But I think for now, since I don't know, I could do something like that. There might not even be a catapult this time around. You know, just to make things a little bit more survivable, it'll probably show up next round. Okay, so I can put this here, pick up a couple more sun. I almost have enough for another tunnel. Oh, here he is! Here he is, he just made a light entrance! Okay, this is a problem. Um, luckily, he's in front of this. We might actually be able to, oh gosh. Oh, he's gonna hit my cabbage bolt. Luckily, we don't have too many expensive plants, and we can just sort of freeze him and slow him down con consistently, which is great. Um, if I could get one more sun, that'd be good. Actually, I need two more sun now. I don't know how many hits a uh, cabbage bolt can take. But hopefully it can take enough so that we can get rid of this thing. He's starting to explode, look at him, boom, we got him. So sometimes just a good defense is a great offense. And also a great offense is a great offense, which is why we have the cherry bombs. <laughs> so hopefully we can do a little bit of both. Oh, it's so stressful. Like it doesn't ever stop being stressful from here on out. Anyways, since I have it, I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys the garlic. So as you can see, the zombie's gonna go up and take a bite or two out of this garlic and he's gonna go blah and move into another lane. <laughs> Is that really helpful whatsoever for me right now? No. But, uh, hey, it works. So basically, until they get rid of that garlic, which will take a little bit if they can only take one bite at a time, it's gonna be helpful, you know, if I wanted them to move into other lanes. For now, it doesn't really matter too much, but in the future, maybe. So now I have a lot of sun coming in. I'm just waiting for that one last snow pea, or not snow pea, but, uh, what's it called to come up? Uh, Tallnut, I might as well start making our second row of cabbage pots and other things. That would be good. Just like that. And that'll probably keep us well prepared for everything else. I just gotta make sure we have enough for a cherry bomb in case things get really nasty. So I'll probably have to take my time. Probably not too many kernel pots for now, just the cabbage pots. Because a well-placed cherry bomb can get rid of the majority of a really tough final wave. And that's something I'm trying to focus on. So as long as I have 175 sun at all times. So, ooh, another one of you, not even a super huge wave. Oh, and he just rolled right over that poor garlic. What did he ever do to you? <laughs> He's like, I don't like garlic bread. I must run him over. Okay, come on, come on. Ooh, nice. All right, that was exploded pretty quick. So we have 175 sun. Depends on where these zombies show up. I'm gonna try to let a good chunk of them show up before I place it down for sure. Okay, well, I'm sort of tempted. Oh, and we got those guys still. Okay, put it down right, boom, and that gets rid of the, even the uh, catapult zombie in one shot. That was about as good as I can hope it to be. Okay, not bad at all. It looks like that's gonna be the end of the level, and what plant are we gonna get for that one? Oh, ho, ho, a helpful one. A bit of a tough one to work with at times because you know, it's just a lot of cost for not always the most amount of use, but it's the umbrella leaf. It's a 100 cost sun, protects nearby plants from bungees and catapults. Well, actually, I forgot it protects against catapults. That makes it very worth it. As you can see, we have both catapults and bungees to worry about this time, and it's not easy. Okay, so I have a couple of options. We even have this guy, the ladder zombie. This is not an easy level. If I take a look at the shop, that's still 20,000 coins. We're not getting that anytime soon or $20,000. Do that, and this for sure. Um, What am I missing? Oh, you know what? That sounds good to me. It's gonna be tough at first without uh, potato mines, but I need some kind of defense with the tall nut. I need the umbrella leaf to protect against these two guys because it's just so much. I think this is our best bet. It's gonna be tough no matter what, but we could have like, trying to think about it, we could have a lane of umbrella leaves and, oh, but we need like a, a very even amount of umbrella leaves because it sort of works like with the umbrella leaf, there is, it'll protect every surrounding adjacent, I think is the word, um, thing. Wow, that is a very quick zombie coming in already. I'm gonna need a cabbage pot soon. There we go, holy cow. But it it protects all of the adjacent things, so I'm gonna need a fair chunk of them to make it work. Oh my gosh, it's gonna be so tough. Like I don't see how this level is gonna be easy at all. If I had ten seed slots, I think it would be a lot more workable. <laughs> 
Okay, put that there. But yeah, so like if right here is the umbrella leaf, these spots right here will be protected. So we need a good chunk of them to make that work. This is not good. This is not good. I'm gonna need some extra pots now. Hmm. Okay, I might want to like a closer quartered set up this time, but there is like, there is a lot of super huge waves this time to work with. I think that'll make things easier. For right now, I think I just gotta stick with one lane of sunflowers. There's no way this is not going to be difficult though, you know? Like it's gonna be difficult consistently, no matter what. So I can only imagine the best thing I could possibly do until we get some plants later on is just to keep moving. <sighs> you know what? I guess I gotta do this. Oh, it's so tough to decide. And I'm gonna go ahead and put a cabbage pole down here. That should be enough to get rid of that guy, I sure hope. Hmm. That has to be what I do here. Okay, so I'm trying to think out my strategy a little bit. And I think my best strategy is now to put an umbrella leaf here. I wanna put another one there. And that'll protect most of it. Not all of it, but most of it, um, which would be nice. Okay, so put a cabbage pole here to get rid of that guy. And then I just sort of have to hope that these sunflowers can do the rest of the job right. Anyway, since I haven't talked about it, the garlic drone, what did he do in other PvZ games? Well, he isn't very present in Garden Warfare games, as far as I remember. Um, he just is a garlic drone, but it's totally different. He doesn't look the same. He looks creepier in Garden Warfare. Um, and what he does is he is the drone that you can control as a cactus. In PvZ2, he probably does the same thing, I don't know. Um, but in PvZ Heroes, he's also a garlic, and if a zombie attacks him, they'll move um, to the left, like a lane left of the garlic. And then if it also, if a, uh, a vampire attacks a garlic, it'll take it out instantly, which is pretty cool. So, yeah, what are we looking to do now? We have a lot of stuff going on. I wanna be able to put more of this stuff. And then for the umbrella leaf, that's actually a pretty new card in PvC Heroes. It'll make cards surrounding it untrickable, sort of similar to how things work here. But yeah, I wanted to go ahead and put this here. And the center lane has the highest chance of success. The thing is about the bungee zombies is they can just pick up a zombie, I mean, a plant, and it doesn't really matter which one, you know? It could be super powerful like the tall nut, and it can still be picked up. That's why I gotta start replacing the sunflower with things, but like, oh, maybe that was a bad idea to put the umbrella leaves there. I gotta work out my strategy a tiny bit more, to be honest with you. Um, this is not gonna be easy, but this is only our first huge wave, so hopefully you can handle it no matter what. Okay, so that guy's gonna get bounced away. Thank goodness. That's pretty good. So I'm gonna go ahead and put tall nuts up here. Maybe that's sort of a problem, because I don't think that's going to end up reaching the magnet shroom. So maybe I should move the magnet shroom up to here and make this also sort of like an umbrella lane. Hmm, that might be my best bet. Soon enough we'll get a plant that'll make this a lot more easier to plan for. But in the meantime, we got some difficult situations. Um, but yeah, I might go ahead and do another one. Okay, that's not too bad. The run, the one row of sunflowers is working. Very uncommon strategy for me to just to do one row of sunflowers, but I'm sort of in a bad situation. I mean, the zombies haven't been too bad to deal with for right now, which makes things easier. But um, I'm gonna go ahead and put this there. And then if I could do that again here, that's what's gonna benefit me the most. Uh, so I gotta just wait for it to restore, which it is now. Now we just gotta hope that this guy can get frozen. This, come on, what are you doing? There it is, there it is, okay, good. Now that guy's gonna be bounced away. Wait, why didn't the butter land on him? Wait, what the heck, what the heck? What happened to the butter that was, okay, maybe that was in a different lane, I didn't see it properly? Come on, that's the worst. I'm not ready for any of this. Why is this level so difficult? I don't understand. What did I do to deserve any of this? Oh my gosh, come on, come on. I mean, we haven't even run into many zombies. It's just, I need something for that ladder zombie that's going to show up soon. Uh, maybe for now I can start putting some sunflowers here just so I can help make some extra cash because I need that extra cash. It's just him for right now, which makes me think that after we destroy him, no, I'm wrong, um, a super huge wave would show up. Not quite yet, which is a good thing. <laughs> it's good that it's not quite yet. So, oh, you exploded, which is nice. I'm gonna put an umbrella there and then put some other stuff there. I don't know what we're gonna put there, to be honest with you. 
<laughs> I'm gonna put that there. I need 125 sun as soon as I can possibly get it. Come on, one more, one more, one more, one more. Got it. And then if I could get another one, I'll put a sunflower down somewhere like there. Ah, uh, this is sort of a mess right now. I understand. <laughs> but, uh, I'm doing what I can. Because I definitely messed this up. I did not do this correctly. There's definitely better ways I could have executed all of this. So if I really want to make things survive right now, I think the best thing I could do is this. Okay. That's not too bad. So I have 125, I just need a place to put that, which I'm probably gonna put it here, and then do that. Okay, so that guy's not gonna be able to get what he wants. See you, dude. So far, all of our plants are protected, which is pretty nice. I only need one magnet shroom, so hopefully he can just stick around for a little bit. I'm gonna put this here. And what we're gonna do is sort of zigzagging the, uh, the cabbage pots, that way we actually have the proper amount of things we need, because that's sort of the thing about the umbrella leaf that makes it hard to work with, is that it sort of disrupts your lane a little bit in that way. That'll be fine for now. I could get a couple more sun though. There we go, there we go. And then put another cabbage pole. No, that's the wrong one. <laughs> At least it does the same amount of damage, so maybe that's not so bad. Maybe the kernel pole is just, maybe I should just stick with the kernel pole only. Like maybe that's the strategy I should do. I don't really know though. So there is the ladder guy. Will he be picked up by this magnet shroom? Yes, he will. Okay, so putting him in the center lane is my best possible option. Um, put a cabbage pole here. Get that coin. I need to get every coin I can so that the game gets easier. So at this point, we only have three sunflowers left over, but what is the zebra to do in this situation? I don't know. Um, survive. Keep pushing and survive. That's what you gotta do. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and put something there, and then we just have to earn up a couple more sun, and we'll be good. It's just hard to earn up sun when we only have three sunflowers. And why not? So maybe that's what I should be putting, uh, but it's not really worth it, is it? I was gonna say, putting sunflowers in these other two lanes that are open right now, but it's not really worth doing that because I don't really have anything I'd improve. I mean, I mean, I guess for now it's good, because that way if I need to earn up more sun to get rid of, say, a tall nut to replace it, extra sun wouldn't hurt. So for right now I'm gonna focus on that and probably inevitably end up replacing those, but once again, every plant we have out right now is protected, and that's awesome. The umbrella leaf is another plant that's not available in Garden Warfare at all, from my knowledge. Hopefully one night I'll make an appearance. I don't know if I ever talked about the tall nut. The tall nut is with the walnut as a um, spawnable thing in Garden Warfare. In PvZ Heroes, or like a spawnable thing for the cactus, it's like it makes a little wall of tall nuts and walnuts. That's sort of a bit of a tongue twister. But I don't think the tall nut is even in PvZ Heroes normally. Like there's the primal tall nut, but is there just a normal tall nut? I don't think so. I'm just saying. I know there's a health nut that sort of looks like a tall nut. I don't think there's just a flat out tall nut in PVZ Heroes. Hmm, not sure. Anyways, we're handling this decently well. At this point, I could start replacing some of these guys, just like that. And since I already put a kernel pole here, I'll put a cabbage pole. And then replace you with uh, another kernel pole. There we go, we should have two kernel and two cabbage for every lane, and that's what I'm trying to do, is trying to make it so it's consistent, and so far it is. <laughs> it's just very tough to get it to that point. So I mean, I could play it safe, just in case they start throwing more than one ladder zombie at me, but I should, should probably just save my son, because if we could just keep pushing from here, we'll win. And that'll be 5-7 done, we're slowly making progress. This has been the toughest level yet. Probably not the toughest level ever, but the toughest level yet, yes. Oh man, it is stressful. It is like there's nothing but it but stress in uh, second half of world five. There we go. Hmm. Okay, so we have a huge wave of two ladder zombies show up. I might end up uh, doing some other stuff, but I'm not sure. Right now it's only one ladder zombie, so the magnet shroom should be able to handle that guy, no problem. Our plants are guarded by the umbrella shroom. It's not that, or the umbrella shroom, just the umbrella leaf. It's good that that doesn't actually uh, do damage to the umbrella leaf. I don't have to replace, replace the umbrella leaf at all. 
Okay, um... Well, he's about to explode. Okay, that's the end of the mission. It's a very long mission, but the amount of zombies they don't give you is too tough. Oh, look at this. And also, since I haven't done it, we should also visit our Zen garden. I haven't done that yet. Um, because it, I've been recording, you know, like I haven't recorded in a couple days, so that should be good. But anyways, we got the Marigold, which is 50 sun, gives you silver and gold coins. Very helpful plant for if you're trying to earn money, but not a very good idea to play that during the story mode right now because it's just not gonna be very easy. So as you can see, there's a brand new zombie, and he's big, he's mean, he's a gargantuar. Uh, so we're gonna deal with all that stuff in just a momento. For now, we're gonna go ahead and go to the Zen Garden. As you can see, we have some plants to water. So first off, do that and that, boop, boop. And then soon enough, they should be needing to be watered again. I don't think I'll sit here and wait the entire time. But soon enough, they'll be like, hey, water me again. You keep watering them, then I'll ask for either plant fertilizer. And, oh wait, there we go. And it's, it's sort of the, be the best way to earn cash is through the Zen Garden. So I probably will be doing some Zen Garden off, off screen, off camera but I wanted to show you guys the basics of getting started. Um, let's water you, and then water you again. But yeah, it's very simple how it works. You know, every couple hours you can come back and you can water these plants, and um, you can get more and more money out of it. Soon enough, they'll be sort of like maximum level, and at that point, they'll constantly pop out coins, so you can sit there and either collect them, or you could sell the plant for the highest cost it can be, which is usually a couple thousand. Like right now, I don't even have the option to sell them. I don't know even when I get that option, probably once they grow to full, but that's the most we can do right now. We uh, grew them with a plant fertilizer. We got some couple a couple coins out of it. Let's continue our adventure. Should have done that at the beginning of the episode, totally forgot, I'm so sorry. All right, back on the roof. I am not looking forward to that gargantuar. Luckily, we don't have catapult or bungee zombies, so this might be a bit more manageable, to say the least. I mean, maybe I'll try something with just a kernel pole and no cabbage pole. Like, if I take a, look, take a look at the almanac. Damage normal, damage light. So there is a difference in damage. Okay, then never mind. I'll keep both of them out. And then, I could do normal walnut. I could do repeat or torchwood. That sounds like it could be pretty effective. I need something that hurts a lot, but maybe I should, mm, it's so hard to decide. I think I need some backup, and I think that's where I'm gonna get my backup. Because those gargantuars, they have a lot of health. Gargantuars are not fun to deal with. But yeah, the marigold, marigold we got, of course, is the same thing that we're growing in the Zen Garden, little marigolds. Um, and they just give you money. They are excellent choices for if you're trying to earn more money for the long game, but for right now, it's not really worth it because the game is difficult enough trying to survive this stuff. If you're doing a new game plus, or if you're just playing some of the endless mini games that we'll run into later in the game, they can be great, but for now, it's not worth it. So I won't be showcasing that plant just yet. But soon enough, I mean, there'll be other plants I'll be showcasing after the, um, the main survival mode is done. For now, though, doing a little bit of this. But yeah, I hope you guys don't mind that I plan on doing some of the Zen Garden off screen, but just because it's such a passive thing, right? It's like you just gotta come back every couple hours and do like one minute worth of things. So it only makes sense at first to do it off screen or in general, really. Okay, there we go. And you can sort of cheat with it. If you are playing on PC, you can change your computer's like time. It's not really necessary though, unless you're like trying to get a lot of coins fast from what I remember. Um but I'll just try to do it over time. Whenever I can remember to. Okay, there we go. I'll put this here. And things are getting a little bit more difficult. I could already put out some repeaters. I think I'm gonna actually focus on the, no, I didn't mean to put that there. Gosh darn it. Okay, I'm gonna have an extra sunflower for a little bit. Not the biggest deal in the world. Um, I'll put an extra sunflower here. I'm gonna start putting out as many of other things as I possibly can. I guess I could do this just in case things get nasty there. Put that there. That's working out pretty decently. Okay, I'm putting as much of my sun to use as possible. Actually, I should not have put the walnut there. That was a foolish mistake that I will have to amend soon. Um, in the meantime, do that. Put that there. And uh, hope everything turns out the way I want it to. Right now, it sort of kind of is, but also, oh, it's getting a little risky. Gonna get rid of you. I think you were about to pop out of sun, so that was bad timing. 
Wait, oh, is that one far back? Okay, I'm making dozens of mistakes today. Uh, or at least in this round. That is just embarrassing. I need to put the walnut there. So I'm gonna do that as a guide. It is a little bit to get used to, I gotta be honest. So I could put an extra row of sunflowers here just to get some extra cost out soon because we're gonna run into our super huge wave very soon as well and that's not gonna be fun to deal with. So I can leave that walnut there because it's not hurting anybody for now. <laughs> I mean, it hurts me because it's embarrassing, but beyond that, it's fine. Ah, oh, man. Actually, a lot of bad news going on right there. If you could have stayed, you know, frozen for a little bit longer, that would have been great. No, come on. Stop that. Jeez Louise, this is not good. And it's all because I got a bad start, right? It's not because I've really been playing super bad. I mean, I have been. But because I just have it, I didn't think, think it through. And of course, I'll be replacing some of these sunflowers soon, but having a huge influx of sun really can't hurt me too much right now. So I'm gonna put a repeater there. I'm gonna put a plant pot there. We're about to be able to put another repeater. All of our sunflowers are out for now. We're definitely gonna be putting any more than three rows of sunflowers. I just need enough sun to get that. Okay. This is getting a little risky, especially since that huge wave is gonna be coming in super soon. So, get that repeater out as soon as I can, just like that. So a full row of kernel pots, a full row of repeaters, and a walnut there. So now we're gonna be focusing in on the torchwoods, which is slightly less expensive than the repeaters, which is good, good, good. Uh, so put that there. Huge wave of zombies is approaching. That's fine with me. I hope. <laughs> Got it. So there we go, that torchwood's getting to work. I mean, it's not the most useful thing, but it's still pretty damaging. It overall works out pretty well. So what's the next scariest lane? I would say this. I probably should be earning up enough sun to put the walnut there, and I have enough. I just need the uh, pot to be ready. Right there. Okay, so here we go. We got to strike while the iron's hot. Do that. So this guy is still going to hurt pretty badly, but he can be buttered. Just because he's big doesn't mean he's immune to butter. So I think we'll actually be able to deal with this guy, especially if we can get another kernel pulled out, but this is where things get risky, and maybe regrettably so. Boom! Okay, that was worth doing because he was about to squish. Um, that torch would, and that one sort of set me back more than the sun did, because we're gonna be able to get more sun here, as you can see. Uh, okay, so put a walnut there, get more sun, and we gotta get our second roll of kernel pulse out now. So get that done as soon as possible. Oh, this is so scary, but we're doing it. Anything with a gargantuar involved is scary. And in this game, gargantuars are just gargantuars, but they get crazy in some of the later games, and PBZ2, of course. Um, it's just insanity. There is like 20 different types of gargantuars and even more in PVZ Heroes. I mean, I've showcased a couple of the gargantuar legendaries in PVZ Heroes. And of course our PVZ Heroes series that you should go check out, it's a lot of fun. Um, some more kernel pulse. I'm, get, I'm losing my mouse cursor and all of the projectiles moving around for whatever reason. You'd think that would happen more often in some of the other levels where I'm putting more pea shooters out than I am now. But no, it's just happening with this one. Maybe it's because the, the, uh, the little, Corn things are smaller than most projectiles and they move in such a like arced way. It just looks weird, it looks like my mouse cursor. Cause it's also sort of whitish like the PVZ mouse cursor is. All right, got that coin. We're doing pretty well, we actually broke 10,000. So we need twice as many coins and we'll be on easy street. 10 seed slots. I wouldn't exactly call it easy street, but it would be nice. Okay, so a huge wave of zombies is approaching. We're looking pretty prepared. Um, I could just wait to see where the gargantuar pops up, put an extra kernel pulp there. Uh, okay, so he's right there. Try to make sure that guy gets, okay, dealt with. I need to put this here and then this like, boom, not bad, not enough. Oh, especially with that imp. Oh, that just really complicated some things. Oh, he got buttered. Oh, he got buttered. Keep throwing that butter. Keep throwing that butter. The imp has very little health, which is the only benefit. <laughs> okay, so you can see his bed just popping up. That makes him easier to deal with. I mean, I guess it doesn't make him easier to deal with. It means that he's low on health and boom, we got one of my favorite plants in the game. It is quite a good plant indeed. It is the Melon Pult. 300 sun does heavy damage to groups of zombies. It is great, but also difficult to work with. I am so, so excited to use it. But as you can see, we have every obstacle in the book to deal with. We have Bungie Zombie, Catapult Zombie, Gargantuar, Brown coats, cone heads, bucket heads, ladder zombies, and jack-in-the-box zombies. 
Holy cow, that's a lot of zombies. Is this 5'9 or 5'8? I think it's 5'9. Maybe it's 5'8. I can't remember. <laughs> I think it might, no? We're gonna find out together. Uh, so I need to do this. I need to keep things low cost as much as I can. But I think Colonel Pult will be good for now. Oh, this is so difficult to decide. Melon Pult will be great, but saving up to that is going to be a doozy. Having the Umbrella Leaf, and then finally I have enough for two more. Oh man, that stinks, because I'm so close to making this all work. Like I could go without the Umbrella Leaf, because I want to do the Magnet Shroom now, but I don't know if that's worth it. Because I need the Cherry Bomb in case things go awry, and I need the Tall Nut. Or maybe I should just do the Walnut. This is a strategy I'll go for. Melon Pults are so cool because they do splash damage. When they land their projectile on the like a zombie, it'll also do damage to zombies on the top and bottom lane next to it. So that's very, very good. All right, I need a sun from you as soon as possible. Come on, boop. Awesome. But the thing is, is that while that's the case, you don't want to just do three lanes of melon pulse. This might be what you think. Like, okay, then maybe I should do a melon pulse here, here, and here. That's a good idea, but if there is a zombie in this lane, it won't attack it. So that's a problem in and of itself. You need a melon pulse in every lane if melon pulse are gonna be your main strategy. So that's where things get a little complicated. And we're gonna solve that by making it revolving. We're gonna have three melon pulse in one lane, but surrounded by, you know, in between them have two umbrella leaves. And then in the row next to that, you know, we will have other things. We need two rows of sunflowers. And this is where things get tough and complicated. That's for sure. Um, do something like that. If I could get an extra sun soon, that'd be fantastic from anything, anything, anything. Got it, got it. Okay, not bad. Oh, this is tough. Like it's just the opposite of easy. And it's supposed to be, it is level five nine though. So if we could just find a way to survive this with our melon pulse, we're gonna tackle the final boss of the game. Won't that be exciting? I don't need to put a new uh, plant pot down for that one, which is super advantageous for us because he showed up in the same lane. That's really lucky. I don't know if actually that's luck or if the zombies that show up are predetermined. But I did wanna say, since I haven't had too much time to mention it, thank you guys so much for supporting this series. It's been a lot of fun playing it. You guys seem like you've been really excited about this series every time I upload an episode. Sorry, the last couple of days has been a little slow. Beyond that, you guys have been sharing your thoughts and your experience with, experiences with PVZ recently. You know, either if you've played this game or the iPhone version or the DS version, it's so cool to hear your guys' stories with this game and your thoughts about it and your thoughts on all the plants and zombies I'm playing with and going against. So thank you for sharing those opinions. And once again, for people asking if I'm gonna be doing the mini games, if I'm gonna be trying to complete the game 100%, right now the plan is yes, especially with how tremendous you guys have been supporting the series. If that support keeps going, we're definitely gonna be showcasing the mini games. I'll be trying to go for 100%. Anyways, I gotta not be too distracted here. We gotta keep moving. Um, so we could put down our first melon pull. The thing is, is where do I wanna put it? Um, it's hard to say, because remember, we gotta keep it protected. So for right now, I think it would be smartest to just put it wherever there's gonna be some opposition. So doing that will be good. The problem now is that things are not gonna be easy. Ah, oh, man, that's just not gonna be easy. <laughs> that's the answer. Doing something like that's not too bad. Need to earn up another 300 sun to get another melon pull. Oh my gosh, we're about to hit our next huge wave as well, so I might wanna try to save up until then. But they're gonna start throwing some nasty stuff at us, so we just gotta be ready. Oh boy, I'm nervous, I'm real nervous. Okay, grab that and that. We're at 225, if we could just survive for a little bit longer, we'll be fine, I hope. Uh, maybe not, I might wanna do something about this. Is that the best choice? Probably not, but it's what I did. Because I'm gonna start doing that. Because that's what we're gonna do, is zigzag with the uh, melon pult so that they can be in each lane. Oh, this is tough. Because I need another melon pult now <laughs> to deal with the rest of these lanes. Okay, so for right now, I'm just gonna keep putting sunflowers down wherever I can. Which if that's here, then that's here. We're about to hit another huge wave and it's really nerve wracking. Uh, I think a walnut would be good here for now, and then if I could just get a little bit more sun with this weird mismatch of sunflowers I have sitting around, that would be good. And I'll put that right in front of the walnut, which would be nice as well. Come on, there it is. Boom, boom, boom. Got it. Okay, so that should take care of both of these guys, because once again, it has boom, 
Splash Damage. So the Melon Pult, what other games has it been in? Of course it's been in PvZ2. It does actually have an upgrade that we'll see later, I think, unless we've already seen it in Crazy Dave's shop, I can't remember. Um, and then also, it is in PvZ Heroes, it has some Splash Damage there. And then in Garden Warfare, it might be in Garden Warfare 1, it's definitely not in Garden Warfare 2. Can't remember though. Uh, so this is a problem, I might just wanna cherry bomb our problems away. Boom. Was that a waste of sun? We're gonna find out. Uh, Hard to say, hard to say. We can put that there, and if I could just earn up a little bit more, that'd be great. Because I'm gonna get rid of that sunflower, but I'm gonna wait until it's absolutely necessary, which is gonna be one sun. Come on, come on, got it. Nice. Come on, boom. And then we'll hit him one more time with that melon pot, and we'll be good. So we just need a melon pot in the center lane, and we have a full row of melon pots. That would be, that would be pretty good. Be really nice. It's just hard to get there. Really hard. That's not bad. Right now, every not every plant we have is protected. And I'm trying to keep that in mind as well. From uh, like catapult and bungee stuff. Because if I could just let everything restore, we will in a moment. And now everything's protected. Okay, so the problem is that he's eating through, you know what, I really don't wanna have to cherry bomb this guy, but I may have to. Okay, no, maybe not, no, maybe not. That cabbage, or not cabbage pole, but the kernel pole is doing some good damage against him. There we go, put that there, get 50 more sun, however I can. Come on, come on, come on, got it, and then walnut. So we're doing this in such a like dodgy way but it's slowly but surely working. So yes, now every plant we have on the field right now is protected, which is fantastic. We just gotta keep maybe getting more sunflowers out for now, oh my. Okay, that's fine. He should take enough damage to get you know rid of, I'd only hope. Um, he's already buttered. I mean, we might wanna just have more, what's it called's out for now? I mean, soon enough, but for right now I'm just focusing on sunflowers. I think that it would be good to start getting some or more kernel pulse. If we could just freeze people with the butter now, that will be huge. So keep earning up sun, put it there. Uh, no, wrong thing. In the meantime though, in the empty spots, I might as well put some other stuff, which this walnut has the lowest health. You can tell by their facial expressions. They get more and more freaked out the lower they are in health. You realize that they're hollow on the inside and that makes it even weirder, the concept. Like, okay, how do they think? How do they express? How do they do anything? I mean, I guess with the walnuts, <laughs> they don't do anything. They sit there. So maybe that's why they're hollow on the inside. That's awful. Anyway, I want to put a kernel pull here. And we're just doing the same zigzag strategy that's going to get us everything we'd ever wanted more. And this is, I, this is the last level we have before the big showdown, as far as I remember. The final boss, which, what is the final boss? We'll find out soon enough. Um, so that guy's going to get bounced. Don't even have to worry about that. So this is the second out of three huge waves, and those melon bolts are getting to work, which is great. So I'm just gonna go ahead and put that there. And the only tough thing now is that I can't really do a full row of another melon bolts, but I can still do a couple, and it would work out just fine. So I could put one there, but I have to earn up more sun first. Get that coin, get that coin. Good, because the coins and the sun and everything, if you don't collect it fast enough, it will disappear. Wait a minute, where did you come from? I totally forgot about you. Okay, somebody got you. That's good, but the problem now is that there's a there's a ladder on that. Oh, it's the worst. I don't think we've ever shown that off before, so I guess that's good, but that's why we need more melon pots. I'll try to replace the walnut. I don't know if that will actually fix the issue. Um, we're about to find out. Boop. Oh, it does fix the issue. Okay, well, that's a quick fix. I don't think I've ever done that before. <laughs> um, okay, so you blew up, which is great. Now I'm gonna try to get a, a melon pole on the top lane again, as soon as I have another 300 sun. It's just harder to get sun now. And it looks like if you take a quick glance at my roof here, not my lawn, it does look like I just have like this weird mismatch of different plants and stuff. But in reality, there's actually a, a method to the madness. There is actually a pattern if you look for it long enough. <laughs> okay, put a melon there. I might start replacing this kernel, like this kernel pole and this kernel pole for melon poles eventually if I earn up that much sun. I'm gonna be doubtful that I even will, but it's worth to keep in mind. So I'm gonna earn up another 300 for that final uh, lane down there, and then we will be good. 
I've gotten just about everything I can to survive. I mean, if I can get more than that, great. I'll probably just use it with cherry bombs, but those guys are gonna be bounced. Okay. And then I'm going to replace this sunflower with a, a melon pulled as soon as I can, which is not now. Yabba da da do. Okay, got it. And then, got it. Got it. Okay, so that's pretty good right there. Now we're just waiting. <laughs> waiting for either success or doom to knock on our door. I mean, I guess we're above our door right now. You'd think they would go into our house at this point, you know? But no, they don't. <laughs> that way we just like, we're stuck on the roof and then it's just inevitable that we'll eventually get taken out. <laughs> but no. Okay, so there's lots of action happening here. He's holding a flamingo crossing sign. Or no, that's a duck ca crossing. That is not a flamingo. <laughs> okay, so go ahead and put this here. Maybe I should have put it on the upper lane. That's fine, it's gonna deal with them. We did it. Okay, he's gonna throw an imp. That's not the biggest deal in the world because the watermelon pulse take care of him pretty quick even if he eats that kernel pulse, which he didn't. All right, come on, take this out, guy out. Come on, you can do it, you can do it. He's buttered. Yay, I got him! Okay, so we get ourselves our fifth mysterious letter from the zombies. Did they give up? They're like, okay, you're too good. Oh, this is actually legible. You found a note. Homeowner, you have failed to submit to, to our rightful claim. Be advised that unless you comply, we will be forced to take extreme action. Please remit your home and brains to us forthwith. Sincerely, Edgar Zombos. Dr. Edgar Zombos. Wow, how composed. Oh, it's nighttime now. Uh-oh, he's here. Better get ready. It's gonna be a heck of a fight. Listen though, I know what his weakness is. You have to hit him in, his pa in the pancreas. No, that was a different guy. You have to, um, kick him in the... Hmm. You have to press up, up, down, down, left, right. Uh, wait, I remember it's... Oh no! The bungee zombies, I got him! Are they gonna use brains? Crazy Dave, are you okay? Oh no. Whoa, double, oh no, what in the world is this thing? It's Zombot. <laughs> so this is what they meant. You'd think our roof would cave in, but no. So as you can see, things are a little bit different. It's our only proper boss fight in the entire game. And it's against the final boss, the Zombot. It's crazy ridiculous and I love it. So you might see something that's a little bit different. Of course, it's a conveyor belt level where he's gonna be placing zombies down. Um, and our goal is going to be to attack him. But to do that, things get a little complicated. Uh, we have to wait for him to lower his face, I believe. In the meantime, we're just gonna be putting out as many plants as we possibly can. Um, and just trying to survive that way. And you notice that the level progress meter is a little bit different. It's empty because the more damage we do to him, the more it'll fill up. So basically the level progress meter at this point is a health bar. And that mixes things up quite a lot. Um, how am I gonna deal with this guy? I might just have to get rid of this guy on the top. So I have all these chili peppers and stuff, but I wanna use them at just the right time, like now, so we can hit him right in the face I missed actually. Uh, that's awkward. So okay, hit him here, right? Boom, that hit him a little bit, because as you can see, that's Zomboss on top of Zombot. Okay, so this is actually a frozen one, or no, like a fire one, so we have to use the frozen uh, ice cream to get rid of him, and then we can hit him with like that. We wanna make sure we manage that, because not only does he shoot out fireballs, but he also shoots out ice balls, so depending on what we got, will determine what we can do against him. And we also have all of these, you know, different things here, all of these different, catapult based plants that we're gonna have to use. So we, management is the name of the game if we wanna survive against this boss. We wanna make sure we have enough ice shrooms and, and uh, jalapenos. It usually gives you a lot of ice shrooms, comparatively, in my experience. So he's already getting a little beat up and the plants will attack him too. So what is he gonna spit out now? We got a lot of bucket heads to deal with too. Okay, so he's gonna do another fire one which is good because this also freezes him, which means we can do a little bit more damage, but then it unfreezes him once we attack him. Oh, that jalapeno mess, that was actually an awful mistake then. I don't know if we're gonna be able to deal with this guy in time. I might have to just go ahead and do that. Oh, okay, we were going to. Oh, and hey, a newspaper zombie. Long time no see for those guys. Melon Pole should be able to do quick work to him. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and put a Colonel Pole here to compensate for the fact that we don't have a uh, Melon Pole in that lane. I wanna put this, I guess, up here maybe that could be good. 
And I'm just trying to manage everything. So far, we're doing okay. Can't use any more frozen shrooms for a little bit. I guess I could put this here. Gotta be careful about this guy. Come on, come on, can I just freeze you before you explode anything? And everybody is attacking him now, and you can tell we're not making much progress. We still have a lot more work to go if we wanna beat this dude. But we are gonna beat him. Okay, so he's actually gonna throw his first fire, or a frozen ball of doom. I'm gonna put more melon pulse out here. And there we go, that did some good damage to him just because of all the melon pulse throwing stuff at him. I'm gonna go ahead and put these potted plants. Oh no, the bungees! I forgot about the bungees, freeze them! Yeah, no, that didn't work! I didn't know that didn't work! I thought it did! <laughs> well, I guess I'm wrong. Man, we missed out on I think a couple of melon pulse there too, that's nasty. I need to earn up as much as I can. I think I need to hold on to the flower pots then just in case they start stealing some. Luckily we have a melon pole in every lane still. I do not have an ice room. If he throws out a fire, a fire uh, stone or whatever, that's gonna be really bad news for me. It's a fire one. Come on, ice room, I need it soon. There it is, there it is, there it is. Oh, that was close. Cause that will just roll over everything and it's really bad. So I'm gonna hold on to my jalapenos and ice rooms as much as I can. We're almost halfway there. A little more than a third, a little less than a half. Oh, we got another one of you, huh? Come on, melon pulse. Don't know why you were sort of taking a lazy Sunday. I gotta freeze these guys though, because they explode. Whoa, an RV, I forgot he did that. <laughs> Hold on. No, poor melon pulse have gotten squished. That's not good. That is not good. It means we are definitely not as prepared as we were. Oh, that's really bad. I mean, we're still getting a lot of melon pulse now. Screen door zombie, I haven't seen him in a little bit. Okay, so we're doing all right. If he could lower his Zombot mug a little bit here so we can start hitting him. <laughs> Those melon pulse, three melon pulse, I guess gets rid of a screen door zombie. Because we just instantly got rid of him, which was pretty cool. Got a cabbage pulled, oh my. So we got the Zomboni. We're gonna go ahead and just do this. I mean, I have three other jalapenos, so it's not that big of a deal. I'm gonna put this, we don't get many kernel pulse. Oh, stop, stop, can this butter him? Because I thought that would be good. Uh, is this a good idea? Probably not. I think I should've just cut my losses there. You don't get frozen though, which makes sense. Uh, you know, I gotta do this. I didn't want to, but I have to. Which I could've done it at a better time with more th forethought. Okay, everybody hit him! Everybody throw everything you got at him! What is he gonna make, frozen or fire? Fire. Oh, it's in not a good lane for that to be in. Oh, I misclicked! No, 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 no. Uh, put it there, go like this. Oh, darn it, that was really bad. That was really bad indeed. This is a tough fight. Like, it's in no way easy. Come on, come on. That guy might be a bit of an issue. It might be worth freezing him. And he threw out a football zombie's also not good. We're getting a lot of ice rooms now. I think I just gotta pelt this guy with jalapenos the next time he pops up because it would be worth it. Oh my gosh, stop and then put this guy here, that'll at least hit both him and the ladder zombie. And then put this guy here, and then, okay, the Colonel Pults are saving me right now, like straight up saving me. Freeze you guys again. Put this here, that guy blew up, which is great. Melon Pults are working as hard as I can. I need to put a Melon Pult in this lane. Okay, come on, we can do this. We're more than halfway through. What are you doing squishing that plant pot? That wasn't yours, play nice. I'll send you to your room. <laughs> I don't think I have the, I don't think there's a room big enough to hold that thing. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and uh, put a melon pole here, I think. We're gonna go ahead and hit you with a jalapeno. We're gonna freeze you. We're gonna go ahead and hit you with another jalapeno. You can see it's doing a good amount of damage to you. Freeze you again, and then I don't think I'm gonna hit you with any more jalapenos because I need to save at least some of them. Put another melon pole back here. We're getting closer, we're getting so close to beating him. I think the next time he puts his head down, we could actually beat him unless he really sits his back with another RV throw, which he could. Um, so I'm gonna hold on as much as I can. Um, I could do this. Mm, maybe that wasn't worth it. I mean, it was worth it because I saved the melon pole, I think. I need to save our onto these, uh, what's it called? These plant pots for now, I think, is also a good idea. Okay, can we get rid of this dude? Thank you. Oh gosh, okay, we finally got another frozen shroom. Okay, here we go, here we go, ready? Boom, got him, got him, got him, got him, come on, he, no, did we get him? Yes, we got him! Down you go, you are defeated! 
<laughs> oh my gosh, it just took a bunch of jalapenos and ooh, we get a trophy, look at him. He pulled out the surrender flag, three diamonds and a wonderful sunflower trophy. Look at that. You have defeated the boss zombie. I guess maybe he didn't even have the name Zomboss at this point or the Zombot. I don't know. Uh, Silver Sunflower Trophy, congratulations. You have most triumphantly fended off the zombie attack. Your lawn is safe for now. Okay, you win. No more eating brains for us. We just want to make music video with you now. Sincerely, the zombies. Roll the credits. Oh, this is my favorite part. I'm gonna be quiet for this. But first off, thank you guys so much for watching and supporting the series. More episodes are coming soon. That was amazing! Zombies on your lawn, and actually has the name of the music producer, I think. Um, Bloom and Doom Records, also the same company that made, you know, Bloom and Doom Seed Co. All the different seeds. So that is so cool. That's probably one of my favorite endings to a game ever, just because it's so cool. And this is another game, game designed by George Fenn. If you guys don't know, he also made Octageddon, a game that released earlier this year that I have already played a lot of. So go ahead and check that out if you're looking for more games that are like that. But man, has this been a fun adventure. That was such a cool song. I've, I've heard that hundreds of times at this point, but I always liked hearing it. And the credits is already done. That's how small of a team it was, which is crazy when you compare that to some of the later PVZ games and how many people work on those. And it's just so cool how much PVZ has expanded as a franchise. And that's the whole reason I wanted to do this series to celebrate the birthday of PVZ. First episode was posted on the ninth birthday. Now we're just a couple weeks later. And you know, hopefully the future of PVZ is very bright. I loved this so much and, oh, it just repeats, that's funny. Uh, yeah, we're gonna go back to the main menu. Adventure complete, more mini games, puzzle and survival modes have been unlocked. Also check out the new items in Crazy Dave Shop. Cool stuff, so we might poke around a little bit to finish off today's episode. As you can see, there are more items here. Yes, okay, so we have stuff all over the place. We'll check this stuff out very soon, but not now. We're gonna save it for the next episode. But like I said, thank you guys so much for watching. Stay tuned as we tackle mini games, puzzles, survival, and tons of other stuff. Whatever becomes available in the game, we'll try to tackle it. But that's gonna wrap it up for today's episode of Plants vs. Zombies. 
If you watched this part of the video, make sure you comment Zomboss Zebra so know you've watched at the end. Now you are a Zebra-tastic viewer. Check out more episodes like this one on your screen right now or by subscribing to doing the Zebra Herd. Either way, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time, bye-bye.